China hasn't stopped at just building skyscrapers or intercity highways. It is creating massive structures that transform the nation's entire landscape, tackling complex natural challenges, and pushing the boundaries of development further than ever before. From satellite images, you can see winding mountain ranges, enormous lakes, wide rivers, and vast deserts that were once nothing but empty sand. For China, these obstacles are not simply natural terrain, but maps to be redesigned, reshaped, and re-engineered to support future economic growth and expand its influence across the region. With a population of over 1.4 billion people, China must find ways to manage resources, transportation, and energy in the most sufficient and sustainable way possible. The infrastructure being built today is not just about expanding usable space, but about paving the way toward the ultimate goal of becoming the world leader in technology, engineering, and energy. This includes bridges so high they must be engineered to withstand typhoon force winds, tunnels drilled deep through icy mountains, and the widest bays turned into direct routes that can be crossed in just minutes. It also includes the world's largest radio telescope, listening for signals from deep space, and drilling tens of thousands of meters underground to uncover Earth's secrets. China is also transforming deserts into sources of clean energy and new farmlands, feats that many once thought impossible. These projects are proof that China is not building simply to compete with anyone, but to show the world that it is stepping into the future in its own way, strong and determined. Although China may appear rich in large rivers, in reality, many areas of the country have long faced severe water shortages. This is especially true in Yunnan province, where more than 48 million people live. Yet the per capita water availability is several times lower than the global average. Hundreds of thousands of acres of farmland suffer from drought, severely impacting the entire economy. To address this issue, China began the central Yunnan Water Diversion Project, a massive system of tunnels and pipelines stretching over 660 kilometers, of which 612 kilometers are underground tunnels. The challenge lies not only in the distance, but also in digging through complex rock layers, earthquake fault lines, and steep terrain. Once completed, this system will deliver water to over 35 districts, providing more than 11 million people with a continuous water supply. It will also boost agricultural productivity without relying on seasonal rainfall, help restore ecosystems, and reduce long-term economic pressures. At the same time, China is moving forward with another large-scale project, the Pinglu Canal. This is designed to create a new waterway connecting the Xi River in Guangxi Province to the South China Sea. The canal will be about 134 kilometers long and capable of accommodating cargo ships of up to 5,000 tons. Digging the Pinglu Canal will not only speed up the distribution of goods to global markets, reducing water transportation distances by more than 500 kilometers will save over 700 million US dollars, about 25.2 billion baht annually, and greatly stimulate the regional economy. This project is also a key part of China China's One Belt, One Road strategy. From solving drought issues in Yunnan to expanding logistics routes to the South China Sea, China is showing that water control is not just about managing resources. It is at the heart of long-term development and stability. Beyond building roads, bridges, or canals, China is also advancing massive projects that aim not only at the Earth's surface, but also far into space and deep underground. One of the projects that has made a significant impact in the global scientific community is the FAST radio telescope. Located in Guizhou province, it has a diameter of 500 meters, making it the largest in the world, covering an area equivalent to more than 30 football fields. The 4,450 reflector panels can be precisely adjusted to focus on radio signals from space. In its first few years of operation, it detected more than 660 new pulsars and identified fast radio bursts, mysterious signals lasting only a few milliseconds, but releasing more energy than the sun produces in a year. The goal of this giant telescope goes beyond studying stars. It also seeks to answer the question of whether humanity is truly alone in the universe. Meanwhile, China is drilling deep into the Earth with the deepest rock exploration project in the Tarim Desert desert, Xinjiang. This borehole reaches over 11,000 meters deep, penetrating 10 layers of geological strata, including Cretaceous rock nearly 145 million years old. The project faces extreme underground pressure, high temperatures, and the risk of rock collapse. Drilling to such depths not only increases understanding of the Earth's structure, but also opens opportunities to explore energy resources and vital minerals that could shape the future of the nation's energy sector. From looking up to the skies to probing deep underground, China is expanding humanity's knowledge and understanding, boosting its scientific capabilities to keep pace with other global powers. For a country filled with towering mountains, complex ranges, and wide rivers, connecting its many cities has been one of China's greatest challenges.
Building roads or bridges alone cannot address the needs of all regions, so tunnels have become a transformative solution for the entire transportation system. One of the most closely watched projects is the Tianshan Tunnel in Xinjiang, stretching over 21 kilometers through the Tianshan Mountains, one of the harshest climate zones in China. Once completed, it will reduce the route from 480 kilometers to a journey of only about two hours. In addition to saving time and costs, it will make the transport of goods from China's northwest to Central Asia faster and safer. Another massive yet lesser known project is the Chengzhou Strait Tunnel, spanning more than 123 kilometers, with around 90 kilometers of it running underwater. When completed, it will become the world's longest undersea tunnel. Designed to accommodate high-speed trains, it will cut travel time from 8 hours by ferry to just 45 minutes. Construction must withstand immense water pressure, be earthquake-resistant, and include artificial islands along the route for ventilation and emergency evacuation points. Both of these projects create direct routes that overcome geographical barriers, enhancing China's transportation network and dramatically improving improving travel speed beyond anything seen before. China's mountainous regions are filled with deep gorges and winding routes, making city-to-city -city connections far from easy. Massive bridges have become the key to transforming landscapes and drastically reducing travel times. One of the most talked about in recent years is the Hegegang Bridge in Guizhou Province. Standing 625 meters above the valley floor, it is the tallest bridge in the world. Once completed, its main span stretches over 2,800 meters, cutting travel time from 70 minutes to less than 2 minutes. The bridge is designed to withstand typhoon-level winds, features a real-time structural monitoring system, and even incorporates tourism elements such as scenic viewpoints and world-class bungee jumping facilities. In addition to making domestic travel more convenient, it also boosts the regional economy and tourism value. Another giant bridge that has transformed travel is the Bay Jiang Bridge, which stands 560 meters above the valley. It once held the title of the world's tallest bridge before being surpassed by the Hegegang Bridge. Before its construction, traveling through this mountainous route took more than four hours along dangerous, winding roads prone to accidents. After the bridge opened, travel time was cut to under an hour, spurring rapid economic growth in the small towns on both sides. These bridges not only solve travel time problems, but also stand as symbols of engineering progress, combining bold ambition with advanced construction technology to create land mark structures in once impassable mountain regions. The growth of industrial cities and the rising population have brought China a major challenge, energy. In the past, the country relied heavily on coal, which caused massive pollution and conflicted with long-term carbon reduction goals. Finding cleaner, more stable alternatives became a critical strategy. One milestone was the Sanmen nuclear power plant in Zhejiang province, the first in the world to use the US-developed AP-1000 technology. Each reactor has a generating capacity of about 1,250 megawatts and features a passive safety system that can dissipate heat without electricity reducing risks in emergencies and setting a new global safety standard for nuclear plants. Following this, China developed its own technology, the Huolong-1 reactor. Entirely designed and built domestically, each reactor produces around 1,150 megawatts, has a lifespan of over 60 years, and incorporates multiple layers of safety systems. The Huolong-1 is not limited to domestic use. China has also exported it abroad, including the Karachi K2 and K3 projects in Pakistan, making it a significant symbol of China's readiness in the global energy arena. Both nuclear power projects not only address the demand for clean energy, but also form a crucial piece in helping China cut carbon dioxide emissions by millions of tons annually while ensuring the energy stability essential for long-term national development. Deserts in China cover more than 25% of the country and continue to expand each year. Managing desertification has become a major challenge that involves environmental protection, agriculture, and the security of natural resources. One of the largest efforts to address this is the Green Great Wall Project, launched in 1978. The goal is to create a windbreak forest belt stretching over 4,500 kilometers, covering areas in the north, northwest, and northeast. This project helps slow the expansion of the Gobi Desert, restore degraded land, and bring back moisture to to the soil. Today, the forests and windbreaks created through this initiative have significantly reduced sandstorms in major cities such as Beijing and Tianjin, while also stabilizing agricultural production and creating new ecosystems that support both people and wildlife. At the same time, China is developing innovative energy solutions alongside desert management, such as the Solar Great Wall in the Kabusi Desert in Inner Mongolia. This massive solar farm spans over 400 kilometers and aims to achieve a total power generation capacity of more than 100 gigawatts by 2030. The vast number of solar panels not only generates electricity for many cities, but also acts as a wind barrier, helping to reduce erosion and further control desert expansion. The movement of sand is being controlled, and the ground beneath the panels is conditioned to retain moisture. China has also planted drought-resistant crops beneath the panels to create new ecosystems and prevent sand erosion. Another significant effort is the Desert Rice Cultivation Project, based on the theory of salt-tolerant 
rice developed by Professor Yuan Longping. This type of rice can grow in saline alkali soil and in areas unsuitable for conventional farming. In the deserts of Xinjiang and other provinces, China has improved irrigation systems and managed the soil so that tens of thousands of acres can now be used to grow salt-tolerant rice. The harvest from this project not only enhances food security but also rehabilitates arid lands, slows desert expansion, and creates new economic opportunities for local farmers. Together, the Green Great Wall, Solar Great Wall, and the Desert Rice Project are transforming barren land into sustainable bases for energy, food production, and new ecosystems. These efforts prove that a desert is not the end of life, but the beginning of limitless innovation. Looking back at each project, it is clear that China's focus is not merely on building the largest or longest structures in the world. Every initiative is designed to promote sustainable development, bridge geographical divides, and expand economic opportunities across all regions. From managing water to sustain millions of people, drilling deep into rock layers to discover new sources of energy and information, building massive tunnels that transform travel routes, to constructing sky-high bridges that connect towering mountains, and developing nuclear power to ensure long-term energy stability. China is combining these with desert projects such as the creation of the Green Great Wall, the construction of massive solar farms, and the cultivation of rice in saline soil. These efforts are reviving arid lands, establishing clean energy bases alongside food security, and laying a new foundation for the nation. They are not merely a showcase of engineering prowess, but a strategic preparation for every kind of change the future may bring. China is writing one of the greatest development stories in history through tangible, monumental structures while moving forward at its own steady and powerful pace.